He's behind you! Who's behind? He's behind! Don't you hate pantomimes? Is it just me? Am I just a grouchy man for not liking pantomimes? I haven't been to a pantomime in I don't know how long. But when I last went to a pantomime, it was one of those like normal, stereotypical pantomimes where the bad guy would come out from the back of the stage when the good guy's on and he would say, Oh, uh, I'm glad that he's gone. I'm glad he's not about. And everyone goes, he's behind you. And if I say he's behind you or not, you're still going to ask me another five times. And if I... You're going to keep asking me until I answer you, until I get so loud that it hurts my voice, and then the pantomime is going to progress. I don't know why I don't like... I sound ever so... I sound ever so salty, don't I, when I say that kind of thing. Grouchy. Proper grouchy. I'm not grouchy. It's just something I don't like. I don't, I don't get the pantomimes. I don't understand it. We're in here today... Because we want to work on the back area, the, that really dark spot that we've got. I really like the lighting in here. I think we've got a wonderful shape. One of my favourite shaped rooms I've ever done. It's sort of, ooh, hiccups. It sort of curves in, then there's sort of a sharper turn. Curves out, curves round. It's such a really nice shape. I need to get rid of these hiccups before I embarrass myself. And I really like the stage. I can imagine having like backdrops behind it of that would sort of slide down or get built and sort of moved into place of forests and stuff like that. But we have nowhere for the actors to come from or to get changed in or anything. So that's what we need to do today. We're going to work out in this really dark area out the back here. Now I've poked out, these were originally solid walls here. But I've poked out two. One on this side and one on this side. And I also fixed the problem. This wasn't symmetrical. I'm sure you guys pointed that out to me at one point. But I didn't know what you were on about. Oh, these should really be the other way around. I'm sure on the episode that I'd done this, you guys said that something wasn't symmetrical. And I couldn't, I couldn't understand what it was. And I was looking around and I was like, no, everything looks pretty good. But you were talking about like these little logs here. Good job on you, eagle-eyed viewers. You fix up all problems that I have. So, I think first off, we're going to want some lighting in here so we can all see. This is going to be a really easy section because it's obviously just, uh... What was that sound? That wasn't a cave sound. That was like a... A, a tornado sound. Does this have tornado? Does Minecraft have tornadoes? And this is going to come through and wreck the whole cruise ship? Who knows? I don't know. Let's go to carpets. Now, we want to do our, our cool carpet pattern that we've got in here. Now, we always use light grey and dark grey. I think we want to use yellow for this one. So, we've got 171, 4, 171, 8, and 7. 7 and 8. 4, 7, and 8. That's easy enough to remember. Set to 171, 4, 171, 7, and 171, 8. Undo. First things first, we want to set to glowstone. Ha ha ha. I get things right all the time. And then we want to go from here to there. And we want to then do that command to put the cup on top. Whew. We get it figured out. Now we can see a little bit. I can put some patterns in there to finish that bit off. Uh, we can see ourselves that we've got some holes here. We need one there and here to cover up those holes. And I might do that on this side and this side just to match it all up a little bit. That doesn't need to be there. Okay, now we're getting a little bit of room here. Then we need to, I think the next part is to finish off these walls and stuff. Now I really like the logs, but I don't like this. The only problem is that we can't get rid of it. This is actually the, the stairway, the staircase that goes up. So that might have to just stay as it is. Unless we can, like, mix some of these in. Like that. I know they're not quite birch, but we don't have birch wood. This is actually black wool, as we all know. No, I think that, that makes it look a little bit better. And then we've got a little bit of sort of ceiling visible here. We don't want that. We want it to be a nice sort of smooth top here. Problem solving. Hole fixing. Hole filling. 
Okay, I like that. We want to have the blue going across the top of the elevator. So it looks like an actual elevator opening now. Rather than just a hole in the wall. And I think that's I think that's pretty much good for in here. I mean, some carpets or some shelves would be nice. I think we're going to use carpets. Do we go with a grey carpet? The only trouble is, is that all this is grey. Unless I change that. And then it makes the carpet stand out a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. A three or two high? I think I like two high. I don't. I very rarely do two shelf high carpet things, but I think in this case it works really well. Then what we're going to do is have a, a changing room on either side for men and women. Because that's just the way it's done. So we shall... I uh, don't need an, an awful lot of room for this. I mean, what do you want? We want... And then you don't need your own cubicles. You get when in these pantomime stuff. You don't. It's not like going to the swimming pool where you have your own cubicle to get changed, and you get changed in the room around the same people. You know, around the same actors as yourself. And then you need some desks or tables for makeup, um, uh, the masks uh, that they put on, and, and and green makeup if they're doing Shrek or something like that. Um, some lights would be nice. No, I reckon we can do this. And we've got mirrors, which will really help. So let's come out. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think eleven's a good number. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, no, that should work. Eleven by eleven. And then we'll come back here. And come back here. And then before I forget the number 11, I'm going to come to the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then back this way. So we've got ourselves a nice 11 by, well, I think in the inside now is 10 by 10 square. We're going to want to light this up. Set to glowstone. Set to glowstone, set to glowstone, and same in here, and then I want a different colour, maybe an orange would be nice for a carpet uh, addition colour, you know, with a light grey, the dark grey, and then something, so go from there to there, carpet, or maybe a green, let's try the green, what is this? 171 13 so we can change that first one to 13 no i don't like that undo i think carpet orange would be better 171 1 i like that that looks very much like oh what game is that that rem it's reminding me of a game and i don't know what game those three colors are like a game it's a PC game, I'm sure. And I can't remember what it is, and that's going to drive me nuts. Maybe you guys can help me. What what game has those three colours? Oh, it's like right on... It's not a Call of Duty... I'm sure it's not a Call of Duty game. Or a Battlefield game. Oh, man. I'm going to remember it as soon as I finish the episode. As soon as I finish the episode, poof. Poof, I'll remember. Now, I can't take those away either, and that's just like right in line. So... We're going to have to do a st undo. So we're going to have to do a stair edging around it to get rid of that. So we're going to do there to there, there to there, there to there. And I think both sides are going to be the same. In fact, we can probably just work on one side and then copy and paste it probably with the interior. So we've got that. Then we need the stairs to go around. So what stairs do we have? Something neat. I think maybe even this one. As it, it, it looks like a pretty neat one. It's a stone. But I think just the uh, the darkness will just make it sort of stand, stand out a little bit. And then for the ceiling itself, we don't need to worry about specific lighting in the ceiling. Because we've got all this glowstone on the floor. However, I would like to see if we can do some cool lighting around the mirrors. Using those fluorescent tubes that we used in the tunnel and stuff like that. I think that could work really well. And then for a full block on the top, we want something, probably a lighter colour. 
like mossy or clay. Clay's got a nice texture. It's got like a a bobbly texture. Ooh. I can't do it there though. So we need a slab. Well, what have we got under here? The nether brick. I mean, it's pretty close to what we were thinking. No, it's too. It's too. It's looking too road-like with all that. Uh, sandstone, quartz, a wood, a spruce wood. Let's go with a spruce wood. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. I know I said a lighter colour, but maybe if we use some some brighter colours for the tables and the dressings and stuff like that, maybe that will work. So we'll have these coming down the side. We're going to have to try and find some costumes as well. Maybe custom NPCs mod has some um, stuff. I don't know if it works with item um, uh, armor stands, but it might do. So for the desk and the mirrors, let's get the mirror. Okay. Mir mirror. And I want red clay, I think, for either side of the mirror. We want the fluorescent tube, covered, covered fluorescent. Yeah, I think that's the one that we liked, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is going to look good. Okay, and then for the desk itself, what block should we use for the desk itself? Uh, like, uh, have we got a black stair? Yeah, we do. Sweet. Okay, so... Uh, we're going to have to have glowstone being shown just for the moment. Let's have um, there to there. That one to that one. I'll change the floor out in a minute. And then slab. We've got the black slabs as well to go down the middle here. Then we have... I think it would look cool if we had that and that. Oops. And that. Put the mirror in the middle. And then the tubes. Can I get the tubes to face the other way? Like, can I get the tubes to go down? That would look so cool. Light. Bulb. I don't know what we have, like, for, for lighting in this. Like, I keep coming across stuff that I've never seen before. Uh, what are the other flore fluorescent ones that we had? Diamond fluorescent. Oh, they're a little bit thinner. They might work better in... No, no, I like I like the bigger ones. But I need... I want them sideways. But I can't... I can't think of a way to do it. Like, you can do it because, like, if I face that way and that way, see how they, they've changed? But you can't do that on the wall. I think it's going to have to be like that. It still works for what we want, but it's like the spotlights that I wanted down either side. Oh, well, th that's what we could do. Now, you guys keep saying that you want me to use more of the custom NPC's chairs and stuff like that to sit on. You say, well, you've got it. Why don't you use it? So, we're going to use it. We're going to have a couple of red chairs in here uh, to, to sit at, to do your makeup on. And then I think down this wall, I want a, mi a big mirror. We want a big mirror. I just broke it. Oh, it's there. Oh, it's a roof one. Hi. <laughs> I couldn't see it. Okay, it looks like it doesn't work like that. We need to uh, get it again. I can't, like, middle click to get it. I want a big mirror, though, that is, like, floor high. So you can see it. Or maybe even four blocks wide. Yes. That's good. That's what you want. So you can walk in. You can see. You can do a bit of practicing with the acting there. That works really well. And then on this side, I would like armor stands. Do I have armor stands? <gasps> I don't have armor stands. Because this is 1.7. I forgot about that. I'm sure there's a mod that would do it. But it doesn't look like I've got one. So... Can I use custom NPCs and make them not move? We might have found our own armor stand. Does he face towards me? He does. No, he doesn't. Okay. Um, 
Hid Heidi's name. We don't want him to have a name. We want him to be size of what we want. Uh, he can look like Steve if he wants. He could look like anything that doesn't really matter. Like It would be cool to have him look like a mannequin. Maybe getting a mannequin skin would be a good one. We don't want him to have a living animation. I would like you to face... He's a zombie. I'm sure we can get him to stop. Uh, walking speed, zero. Uh, zero. Health. Well, he can have like a million health, can't he? Because uh, we don't want to be able to punch him and kill him. Nothing. Door interact. Disabled. No movement. Yes, yeah, stand. Oops. Standing. Animation. Normal rotation. We don't want any rotation. Unless we can do it like manually in a minute. Okay, is he going to move or do anything? We need to rotate him 90 degrees, but I don't know what 90. So let's movement manual 90. Okay, that was the wrong 90. AI movement, so we want 270. Or does he 270? Is that going to... Next one. Is that going to like do him again? No, no, no. He's now facing this way. So I don't think... He'll now, and cloner, I don't think he'll now move or do anything. I think he is now, uh, we want him to name as, uh, man, I don't know how to spell Armaquin, uh, Manaquin, so I'm going to put armor stand, armor stand. I'm going to spell armor in the American way, armor stand, and then, boom, armor stand spawn, armor stand spawn. Now, can I put some armor on him? Like, if we go, we don't want any of this stuff. This is all combat gear. But we do have custom NPC ones. Now, we have Commissioner. Commissioner. One, two, three, four. Now, can he wear it, Wand? Can he wear this stuff? Because this is modded armor. Inventory. He can. That's so sweet. Are they boots? Oh, they're trench coat. Hat. Leggings. Oh, it does go on your feet. Okay. Yeah, that's so cool to have in a pantomime. Okay, wonderful. What else have we got then? Um, soldier. I don't think we... Officer. Infantry. Assassin. Assassin. Let's see what it looks like. One, two, three, four. This is fun. So, boots. Helmet. Oh, yeah. Look at him. He's the bad guy. That That is such a bad guy costume. That is a, that is a real his behind you costume. And then what have we got as well? There's some really cool arms in here. Right, look, there's a skirt here. Diamond skirt. I don't know if it'll look good as a thing though. <gasps> cow. Has, has to be a cow suit. There is nothing. Cow leggings. There is no pantomime that has ever existed in history. That does not have a cow costume. There, there's always the cow that comes in. It's usually two people. <laughs> okay, is there any other ones then while we're doing this? Like any other ones that would that that would be good? Tuxedo. Tux uh, the reason why I search for them is just so I get them all straight away. Yeah. The trench coat, pants, and chest. No hat for the for this, obviously. That wouldn't really make too much sense. Um I can have one here. Oh, no, we don't want that. We want delete. We want the cloner. Armor stand spawn. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you in, in wall. Uh, we shall spawn you there. There we go. 
And he faces the right way. I'm getting used to this. Let's stick this on him. Oh, that's so cool. It's like making your own skills. I don't know what the trench coat does. Like, if I take that off... Oh, I think it does make a difference. I think it, it puts, uh, like, a trench coat on him, like an extra layer. That's pretty cool. Okay, is there anything else? I've got, like, one more s spot that we could put something in. Prototype. Wizard. Wizard. Oops. Oh, with two Zs. Wizard's head. Head. Leggings and chest piece. We can have one more right there. That's so cool. I'm so glad that we we thought of this. That. That. And that. I don't really think that's a wizard's hat, but I suppose they can't get the pointiness of it. That's so cool, man, to have in here. And they don't move at all. They are completely stationary NPCs. No name tag. Nothing. They are like a better armor stand. And they, with, that, with the Steve skin, I think they do look a little bit like mannequins. It would be cool maybe to have no face on it or like a mannequin texture. But I'm very happy with that. And then for the middle spot here, I don't think we want anything. I, uh, I mean, some paintings around the wall would be nice. Maybe one plant, like right there. And I like the ender. Uh, ender and... Um, what was it? Portal frame. And leaf. But not too much. I don't think we want, we want that much... Um, uh, stuff in here because you want well, you want a lot of room to be able to walk around in and uh um you know and, and and get changed and act and and practice and stuff like that well we need to get the orange the light gray and the dark gray to fill in these sections and underneath the desk dum, dum, dum. one two Three. There we go. Beautiful. So we've got some random, keeping it random there. That looks so cool. And then the uh, the other side is going to be exactly the same. There's no specific male or female colors and stuff like that. It'll just be exactly the same. So I don't need to worry about doing that. And we're out of time anyway. But this is looking really, really nice. Yeah, definitely. So now when we come through the elevator to the uh, to the stage... We now have a really nice entrance that leads us through. It's nice and bright, nice and loud. I love it. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next video.